I look forward to this game all year long. The winner of this SEC rivalry will have some pretty big bragging rights right here in the South. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. LSU lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now here comes the guy that we've all been waiting for, our player to watch this game. Young's vision, his patience, Kirk behind center, really makes him a complete player. And Brad, both of those attributes are especially important anytime you're out on the road and you're playing in a hostile environment. This kid is really cool under pressure, and no matter how loud this crowd's going to get today, I don't think he's going to have much of a problem of blocking them out and playing his game. He's taken down at the 32. How about that play? It's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He makes his way to about the 48. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. made around the 34 yard line that was a great call yeah here you see the draw play at its best the tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards from the 34 yard line it's first down caught open field brought down right around the 26 yard line that's good for a gain of eight yards that makes it second and two Rushed out, and he's going to get sacked. The pressure was just too much to handle that time as this defensive end was able to sack the quarterback. They came with a blitz, and this time it worked out. The quarterback had no open receivers, and he just went down. From the 31-yard line, it's third down. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. <laughs> Alabama is looking to go up by three. It's up, looks long enough, and he nails the long field goal. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Runs outside for a nice game. Second and four. Ball on the 26-yard line. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. He's going to try and scramble. And he tackles him hard at the 40-yard line. after positive yardage. Four yards gained on that quarterback draw. That 
from their own 44 yard line. It's second down. Wide receiver screenplay, and down he goes at the 48. Catches it, and he's looking for more. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. They go to the ground game. Tackle at the 22. From the 22-yard line, first down. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. That brings up second and 13. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he's tackled at the 24-yard line. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Steps up into the pocket, and they've got it. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. LSU is looking to tie things up. The kick is up, and he splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. And they make the stop at the 27. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. And now he's got room to run at the 30. And they finally push him out at the 27-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. Now he tries to buy some time. There he goes. He gets hit out of bounds at the ten. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And he 
carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of seven in the play. That brings him second in the ball. They'll knock him down for a loss. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. The crowd really making it difficult. They'll bring him down at the one-yard line. Brooks gains about five yards on the play. Now he's scrambling. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. They weren't able to defend the quarterback scramble, and they give up six. And he's one of those quarterbacks who can do this when he's close to the goal line. He'll pump fake, then take off, or he'll put his head down and crash it in. Anything goes with this guy. And he tacks on the extra point. An eight-play, 76-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. Alabama kicked this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And he's taken down at the 19-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's going right. Couldn't haul it in. It's second and ten. Ball on the 19. Looking for the corner. He's tackled right around the 34. A great tackle at the 37. That makes it 76. From their own 37 yard line, second down. Again with the run, gets out to around the 48. So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. Make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Here's a run. Nice run to the outside. handoff knocked out of bounds at the 34 yard line good one gets six yards on the carry they're about four yards away here on second down this quarterback is tough as nails Brad he's gonna sit in that pocket and give himself a chance the only problem is at some point you've got to have a feel Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Passes to the left, and it's going the other way. Not a good decision there. Why do you even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. 
from their own 24-yard line. First down, Alabama up seven points. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That makes it seven and six. He fights forward to about the 29. We're through one quarter. Alabama's lead is a touchdown. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. down at the 37 yard line with one quarter down I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads might be neck and neck the whole way there he goes nice run and he's brought down that makes it second and six second and six ball on their own 42 Jenkins gets a carry right side, and they get nice yardage on that run. That'll bring up third and two. Larry, Larry, Larry! Mike 41. got a wedge now. Watch the screen! Watch the screen! Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at the 48 yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. And they'll get him in the backfield. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. He's scrambling. Tackle made right around the 48-yard line. That'll make it 39. Third down again. He fires left side. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Alabama is up a score. Slides down to the ground. From their own 23-yard line, second down. down right around the 24 yard line they're 
one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's immediately tackled. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Tackle made at the 41. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game, but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. He rifles it. Makes the grab and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. He's on the run. Diving for extra yardage. Fires out to his receiver. And down he goes around the 19-yard line. The 10. Touchdown, LSU! Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 41. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. All on their own 40. Gets it. He's in space. Tackle around the 48 yard line. Number 19 makes the tackle at the 48 yard line. That makes it third and three. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. With the pass incomplete. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, they might be able to force him into a mistake. From their own. 
39 yard line. First down. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. And he's tackled right around the 40. Just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And they make the stop around the 47-yard line. This is definitely going to be pass interference. However, I'm not sure who they're going to call it on. It'll be third down again third after that penalty. Down. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. So with the penalty, they've got third and a mile. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Todd is the punter. Booming kick. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. And he's tackled right away. That makes it first and ten. And now he's got room to run. He gets to about the 31-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. They'll drop him for a loss. They'll bring him down right around the 28-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. Throws it in a hurry. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That's good decision-making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Fires it out. Touchdown, Crimson Tide.
that play ever developed nicely. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Alabama ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Throws complete. He's hammered. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. Anytime a quarterback sees zone coverage, this is a very easy and comfortable throw. There's plenty of room to work for the receiver. He's able to get out of his cut and get the football out on the edge. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. That's a loss of one yard on the play. Third down. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Seven yards there on that bit of misdirection. Alabama's called their final timeout. Todd awaits the snap. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. So we've played two quarters. The Crimson Tide in front, 17-10. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to filling a close game. You feel like it is going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us, and more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nestler. Does it get any better? Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here? Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later? We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. Hey, Stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 20. Alabama's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he tackles them hard at the 18-yard line. That brings up second and 13. Hey. 
Second and 13. Ball on the 18-yard line. On the counter, wrestled down behind the line. Lost the five on the way. That'll bring up third and long. Hey, I got number 80. I got number 80. That can be trapped. Let's go. Cut it. Cut it. And he is drilled at the 16 yard line. Todd to punt. He really got a hold of that one. He makes it out to maybe the 46 yard line. Both sides have made their way back out and we're just about set to get going again. Alabama is up seven. Oh boy, almost intercepted. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 46. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle made around the 30-yard line. First down. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Mike 19, Mike 19. Ready, red 18. Hands off to the right and is brought down in the backfield. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 32-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. Looking to go up two touchdowns. Check nine, check nine. Alabama up seven points. Ready. Ready. Run, run, run. Touchdown, Alabama. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. And he hits the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's taken down at the 17-yard line. Young, poised right now, Kirk, here in the third quarter. He's such a solid player. I mean, he's everything we expected and then some, I think. The one word that comes to mind with this young man is just consistency. I mean, he, he seems to be able to go out here in almost every single series. He gives his offense a chance to be able to have a drive, sustain that drive, and eventually put points up on the board. And he has been tough today for this defense to be able to try to contain. From their own 16-yard line, it's second down. That's 
a great tackle at the 32-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great lead and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 32. Steps out of bounds at the 38-yard line. They'll get a first down there on the play with the run from the tailback. Good running and a strong push to get into the second level of that defense. He tries to buy some time. Brought down at the 46-yard line. Gaining two yards. That makes it second and eight. Mike 41. You got a wedge there, huh? Larry, Larry, Larry. Number five. Number five. Gal. And down he goes at the 45. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this. Pass tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. And this is the eighth play of the drive. That makes it second and ten. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Now he's scrambling and he's going to come up with a sack. That'll bring up fourth and nine. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Alabama's showing right now that they are not content to sit back and just watch their lead disappear. They're adding to it. Boy, they're clicking right now on offense. They found their rhythm, and as you said, they're not looking back. They're trying to extend this lead and try to put this game out of reach. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 8-yard line. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd is always into it here. And he's level at the one-yard line. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Not a good spot to have to punt from either. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he can't hang on to the ball. He's tackled at the 43. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Nice run there. 
the tailback picks up a solid seven yards on the counter play. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Loads it. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From the 15 yard line, first down. The halfback with a carry. Nice run there as they work the outside. About four yards on the counter to the halfback. That makes it second and six. Check the outs, check the outs, check the outs. Mike 19, Mike 19. Down. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. And he adds the extra point. for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. <laughs> Tackle made at the 28-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Alabama is up a score. Throws it out and it goes nowhere. From their own 23 yard line, second down. He takes it right side for a good game. The crowd really making it difficult. It's broken up. Quick thinking there. You know, they're liable to put the ball in the air on third, so it's a smart play to keep your hands ready. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. Scrambling around. And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line.
gains his way to the 39-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They'll bring him down right around the 30. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That's a loss of one yard on the way. That'll bring up second and 11. So at the end of the third quarter, Alabama leads it 24-17. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. He's scrambling. Tackle right around the 22-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. taken down at the 26 yard line that's not what you hope for from your running game you're looking for some solid north and south progress you never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence they spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Offense lines up in a five-wide set, and a defense anticipating pass here. And they make the stop at the three-yard line. It's first and goal, and they need a touchdown. Pitch play to the left. Touchdown, Tigers! The extra point to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. A 10-play, 61-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. LSU is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 24. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. It's the tailback. Nice run to the outside. That brings him second and five. from their own 29-yard line. Second down. Complete, he's got room. He gets hit out of bounds, right around the 32-yard line. First down. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Right. 
complete. Brought down. Nothing doing. He gets out to about the 21 yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 21. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Number 24 on the tackle at the 14-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Strike to his receiver, no good. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Third down, and they're gonna need about three yards to pick up the first down. Listen to this place. Runs outside for a nice game. That makes it first and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at the two. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the two yard line. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for, an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. He makes the PAT. Alabama is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. Well, they have a little bit of time, but I think it's very crucial that they get the ball in the end zone on this possession. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Tackle made at the 26. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. some daylight he's to the 40 and he's taken down right around the 44 yard line it to the 44. From the 44-yard line. First down. He's on the run. Brought down at the 38. That brings him second to the Two times, two times. Two down, two down. Mike 41. We got a wedge right now. Huh? Set. Hey. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes around the 37 yard line.
So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Quick strike, and he drops it. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. On the throw, incomplete pass. And they'll take over on downs. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure, try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. They're about four yards away here on second down. Alabama up seven points. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Here they come. They bring him down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. And that'll be three and out. Gets to about the 37-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He's into the open field. And he's finally brought down at the 27-yard line. First and ten following that big run. Just over two minutes in the game. He scrambles. And he's tackled around the 24-yard line. That's a game three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. He's scrambling. Decides to slide. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He makes his way out to about the six. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. Touchdown, LSU! <laughs> J. 
just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And he hits the PAT. LSU kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Late in the fourth quarter now, game is tied. Which coach can outcoach the other? It's a chess match right now. Out of bounds around the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. Second and two. Ball in the 33. Throws into coverage, just picked off. Inside the 30 to the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Young's expression, you can just see that the world is on his shoulders right now after that throw. Well, he is so competitive. We had a chance to sit down with him, and we knew how important this game was. And for it to come down to this situation, to throw that interception, it's going to be a long week for him. He makes the PAT. into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. They're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. With the pass incomplete. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Just over a minute left. He steps out around the 28-yard line. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Passes it to the middle of the field. And he is drilled at the 36. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gibbs picks up about seven yards on the halfback draw. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's on the run, runs with it, and he's got room. Ball is loose, fumble. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. 98 Weasel, 98 Weasel. Here we go, right 80, right 80. Picked off, and that'll seal it up. And he hits him hard at the 38-yard line. Oh, no, they really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. you got to be more careful with the football. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. Alabama will take their final timeout. LSU up seven points. He takes a knee.
It's final, a close one to the very end. 38-31, LSU. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? LSU came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.